Hello, I'm Tim Daniels from lapsoftheshutter.com and I'm going to show you how, in under three minutes, you can use saturation masks in Photoshop to take control of colour and tone to go from this to this. Let's start by opening the photo in Camera Raw and making a few minor changes and then we can open it up in Photoshop. Now I'm going to use an action from my Photoshop Colour Control Action Pack which can be downloaded totally free from lapsoftheshutter.com to create saturation masks. If you want to learn how to make them yourself, take a look at the How to Create and Use Saturation Mask video, read more about them on lapsoftheshutter.com. Now the action is completed, you can find the saturation mask in the Channels tab. The high saturation masks are selecting the most saturated pixels in the photo, the low saturation masks the least saturated pixels, and the mid saturation mask is those pixels in between. The higher the number on the mask, the more tightly defined it is to either high or low saturation. So, control clicking on the thumbnail of the high saturation 3 mask, we can then add a colour balance adjustment layer to which the mask is automatically applied. This mask is largely selecting the sky in the foreground, which I want to make a deeper blue, like this. Next, we can do the same with the low saturation 3 mask. So, control click the low saturation 3 thumbnail and add a colour balance adjustment. I will increase the red and the yellow to strengthen the effects of the streetlights. To finish this photo, let's repeat the process we have just done, but add curves adjustment layers instead of colour balance. We can use the high saturation mask to brighten the sky. The low saturation mask adds strong contrast to the walls of the buildings, and the mid saturation mask can be used to add gentle contrast throughout most of the photo. And that's the photo finished. From this to this. This has just been a quick overview of how saturation masks work. There's an awful lot more that you can do with them. If you want to learn more about how they can improve your landscape and cityscape photography, take a look at the free text and video tutorials available at lapsoftheshutter.com, where you also find the totally free Photoshop Color Control Action Pack that will create these saturation masks for you. Thanks for watching.